मिनट या इन टू डेज टूटोरियल वी आर गोन मेक एन ऑसम रियक्ट टेलीफोन इनपुट पिक सर a lot of time often you have really seen a lot of insight they have a really requirement to really fill up your mobile number along with the country code itself so if you have ever wonder how to really do it this tutorial is a perfect answer for this thing we are going to do we are going to really do and guide into step by step manner like how to do it what are the steps and procedures and what are the things that you really need to care about so let's get started so as you can see there is our project in front of our screen so what we'll just try to do is to take some value out there let's say benin and let's say i really just do 564321 any arbitrary value and it really just gives out this value out there and you can really integrate this uh, form or this really pro this style into your form itself so anytime if any user really wants to submit their details they can you, you can use this method to really implement this style and implement detail picker in in your project as well so here i have created my own react file you can see it's really started up here and my local host is running up right here but there are two things that you really need up there for let's say if you go up right here you really see that there are a bunch of the select list out there so to really look up to this select list you know it will take you a lot of time so what i so what i have really done is to you know i have curated all the list of every single country and their calling code here is the calling code afghanistan 93 is just like when it go to the india india i'm from india as well so let's look up for this india is 91 us is just right below up right here is one and so yeah so it has really list of all countries and territories which has the calling code itself so and i really just want to say that this list is pretty accurate but if you really find some of the issues just hit me up and just hit an issue in this repository and i'll make sure to really correct it if there is any one being said that let's get into our project itself so we will really need this as well as this png file let's open this in next one okay so you can see up right here there is this one uh, yeah i have really used the doc we use this extension so that you can because of this you can't really see anything up right there so let's get started over here so now what i will really do is just to take over here it is everything up right here just let me increase this screen size so that you guys can read see it really well okay, i'll just close it up and make it full screen let's let's zoom it a little bit Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to take an RCE, and I'll import your app dot CSS dot CSS, and then I'll just go up right here onto this div. We'll name this as class name as page for styling purpose, and then and then we will name it as container. Okay, and in that container we need a tell box, T E L, a telephone, and then what we really need is a select box for that select elements. In that select box we really need a image of. Ideas IMG image and class of lag lag image. Okay. And then we really need this select styling itself. We'll just take this one up. Okay. And then we'll copy, go up right here, paste everything right here. So I'll just minimize this so that we won't really need to know anything. So I'll just really select this ID as country itself, and then I'll just go up right here and I'll just name it as input. 
as class name as del that's it we'll leave it as type is equal to del that's what we really want for now and we will go up right here in the container itself so yeah we go in container we require this output sorry we will require this output and within that output we will really need the search h2 as phone number and the span the span of class result let's look at the our local host what is happened right now here so as you can see it has a bunch of all the lists it looks ugly i know don't worry about the styling we'll just cover it now so go back right here go back into this red just here cut everything so i'll give it up with the default margin as zero because we don't want the margin default browser margin padding as zero and then what we will really need is oh sorry page as height to 100 bh so we need this background image url from pixels let's go up right here so what background size cover background position to center and let's say we want to display everything sorry this everything in center for that we really need a flex display as flex align items to center and justify content to center okay let's look what it happened here so as you can see it's here and now what we will just go up here we will just really style this container up right here container height as 200 pixels width width as 400 pixels or uh, we'll name it as background color to white we'll really adjust its opacity we will take this to 5 that's what we really want we want border radius to 20 pixels let's see what it is right now so as you can see it's here styling we need to style this one first so we will go up right here so by the way i just forgot to really put up a styling up right here so we need as uh, h1 class as heading tell sorry tell, uh, tell picker in react okay so let's see up right here this is the style this is a styling up right here so i'll just go to here i'll put up the heading so i really look this as text align to center uh we really give it as margin top as one rem okay yeah it looks cool uh, by the way i really don't like this font for example so what i'll really do is just, just go to the google font itself i select this roboto mm, this 400 will looks fine select this uh, go back select some other new like let's say we want something as code right source code pro this is what's fine this is really cool and we another i want famous font lato okay we just want to take this import just copy everything up right here just go up here paste it everything just come back below here and so yeah we want the font family to roboto here as it is copy it 
paste it up right here and let's see our result so as you can see it looks a bit funky now what we will really do is to style the tell box we want as display uh, to be flex which because we want everything that uh, select and the input field should be in line itself we'll give it as margin one ram but we don't definitely give up as you can see it has really gone this way but we don't want top margin to be zero margin top to zero okay and then what we will really do is just to style this select box dot se select box we'll give it as margin one gram yeah it doesn't look that cool but we'll do it right now so we'll give it as width 60 pixels we'll give it as height height to 40 pixels and now what we will really do is just to style the image yeah so here it is so what i'll really do just go up right here flag img in bracket width 60 pixels height uh, 40 pixels that's what we really want position absolute we want border 2 pixels solid solid black okay, and we want as border radius you are border radius to be 5 pixels okay this is here this is the what we really want now let's go and style out for the select option now let's see what we really do select box select because ultimately we are going to style up this element itself this field so now what we will do is just do font family to lato comma sans serif and we will define it as width to 60 pixels height as 40 pixels just like our image we want this as background none we want position to absolute and border as none so let's look up here so as you can see there is something here uh, let's try out the font size as one rem font size one rem we will keep it as padding left for rem we will define it as outline as none and then uh, what we will define it as webkit appearance none so what essentially it really does i just want to show it again so it really just hides this arrow that we really don't want because it will be hiding beneath the image tag itself so yeah and then what we really need to do is just go on we need to style this tell let's say font family again we'll copy this okay and then we'll define it as width as 100 percent uh, height as 40 pixels we'll give it as background none we'll define it as border 2 pixels solid black we'll define it as outline none and then margin to 1 rem okay 100 percent i guess yeah sorry 100 percent oh yeah so now what we'll go is just to define uh, output o u t p u t output output as margin one rem margin top zero font size size one rem font weight on weight bold 
and display we want it as flex we want align items and then at last we really need this span sorry we really need this as a result okay uh, we really need to style this as first width auto uh, padding padding 0.225 rem let's say we really put any dummy text here let's say 5476 here there it is so okay so let's go up right here really want as border radius to 5 pixels and then height height as 30 pixels and then background color to pink so font color that is color to red itself we want font size to 1.5 5 RAM, so as you can see, there is this one, uh, but this font really looks ugly. So, what I will really do is just go up right here, Lato, come up with this source code control here, just go up here and paste it in. So, as you can see, it's style good. Let's go right here, and we will really do it as margin left. As one gram okay that really looks pretty so come back right here now is an important and interesting part that we are going to do is here the finally state management we are going to initialize the state here so we need the flag image the camel casing flag image equals let's copy this string and URL we'll paste up right here and just go up this here we'll just put it everything this dot state dot flag image sorry you may i am here let's rename this first you can go up right here you can see this has really been there yes, so we really want to change this with another country's flag image so what we will really do we will really need another two elements that is let's go up right here we will name as country c-o-u-n country country flag image or country code sorry country code value for the country code for the value that it's here let's say afghanistan has 93 uh, Albania has 355 and that kind of value that it really needs right here and then what we really need is okay uh, close this one we don't need it right now we really need it as phone okay so and then up right here so now what we really need is we really need an image handler itself so there are two things as well so let's say to really need to really just kind of go and change out the flag it's so I'll this is a website that I have really just found out flagpedia.net let's open this first so it has a list of all the flags that it is it's there so if you really go up right here you open this in the next address so if you open a new address okay yeah so as you can see this is one there but there is a hack over there if you really go and type out i am here it will give us us it will give us sorry india it will now if you really go up right here if we just go up us it will give us us also so now if you really go up right here again if you type uk here so it will not give us anything so we have typed out wrong thing so you got my point so what i'm really trying to say if we can really manipulate that string itself we can really alter that anything as well so uh let's take for example this flag image reference what we will take this as so we will take this example we will just put it up right here let's say comment it up right here and then what we really need is let's say for first select select country select country 
handler equals to e that is a function that we are going to pass here let me add this now for the set state this dot set state in bracket country code value is equal to e dot target dot value first okay so let's go up right here let's open this first so what i'm going to do is on change what i'm going to do is just chain country code handle image so and we will put it as default value as state dot country code value okay so if you go up right here just come back here so if you go and type out the uh, inspect in the react web tools we really open up this one let's just pay attention to here so as you can see this is changing so with this help of this state and we are going to change this image even so now what we really need is an image handler so now what we really need is just to do like country lag handler we really need this as your yeah, country flag handler so what we really need is to define this select select as document dot get element by id or country c-o-u-n-t-r-y so what we are going to take is this we are going to take this value of country to here and then we'll take this dot set state as flag image right here now look carefully remember what i already said earlier is just if you really if you can really manipulate this and you can really take anything that will anything up right here so what will you just try to, to go it is just comment it here for your back ticks copy this and just paste it up right here okay and then and then we will really do this sign an expression sign and then what we will do is just select dot selected options in bracket square bracket zero now what it really means is selected dot selected option really means is that it will really go to entire thing and it will really select the value that we have chosen up right here and select dot select value and what we are really in place of finding is that we really need this data country code now that's what we will type out here data set dot you you and country code and we really need it to lower case itself to lower case okay and then what we will do is just we will define right here on change and then country c country c-u-n-t our country flag handler right this dot country flag handler right okay so i'll just go right here choose the bangladesh as you can see it is set up right here choose this one and you can choose here you can also see that this image source is also changing up right here just watch carefully what if if we are take pg itself and then if it goes up right here so if i take another country india and it goes up right here so that's what we have really done and now what we really need is um phone handler itself okay so phone handler h a n d l e r is equal to sorry equals e arrow function again here set state as in bracket what we will really do is phone as e dot target dot value so we just go we just close this one first so go up right here 
first we will leave default value as as state this or state dot phone and then so we coming up right here what we will do is just we will define on change as phone this or phone handler okay, if we will type out here six seven eight four nine eight so you can really going up right here so now what we really need is finally I think there is some issue like we have in style tab right here okay tell right so what we really do is we'll really need a response size to one gram we really need as padding left to 1.5 gram maybe color as usual black and font weight font weight as thick border radius border radius as 5 pixels okay and we will add the placeholder 9456780391 okay yeah now it looks good so finally we have something to do right now here okay so what we will do is just type out this plus and we'll go up right here again we need this so state dot country code value and this dot state dot phone yeah. so what we'll do is just take in this value let's type out this any number and it's working let's type let's take any another value and yeah so it's work that's it guys if you are up to right here and if you have really liked this video please please consider subscribing to this channel this really keeps and really by doing it you will really support this channel as well so if you have any question queries comments or any suggestions just leave down in the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you so if you have any topic for future as well make sure you do that so till then stay connected stay subscribed and i'll see you next time